This video provides an overview of the Federal Investment Tax Credit and the State Investment Tax Credit for those interested in residential solar photovoltaics or PV. It does not constitute professional tax advice or other professional financial guidance, and it should not be used as the only source of information when making purchasing decisions, investment decisions, or tax decisions, or when executing other binding agreements. Please consult with your tax professional. Hey friends, welcome back to Frequently Asked Questions with Malama Solar. Today we're going to talk about the State Tax Credit. And at the end of this video, you should understand what the state tax credit is in regards to solar and how to calculate it. All right, so we're all trying to move toward a more renewable future. And especially right now with everything going on in the world, it's more important than ever that we can be energy independent. The government has given us different incentives to help us to move to that point. There's a federal tax credit, which a lot of people are already familiar with. And then there's a state tax credit on top of that. So there's lots of incentives right now to go solar, and so this is why I would just want to go into it and explain exactly how this works. The federal tax credit is currently set at 26%, and that one's pretty easy to calculate. It's just whatever you're paying for your solar, 26% of that is the tax credit. So there's different tax credits or tax incentives for installing solar. So a tax credit is a dollar for dollar reduction in the amount of income taxes you would otherwise owe. For example, if you have a $1,000 tax credit, then your income taxes would be reduced by $1,000. What if you don't pay any taxes? Well, first of all, how are you doing that? Second of all, you probably won't get a tax credit or the tax credit probably won't benefit you a lot, but it's best to consult with a professional, of course, in all of these things. All right, so there's a federal tax credit, which is 26%. That one's pretty easy to understand, but we wanna get into the Hawaii state tax credit. So. There's a few things that you need in order to qualify for this tax credit, and let's go over those. The first thing is you have to own your system. That means you either paid cash for it or you took out a loan. What it doesn't mean is you, you didn't lease the system and it's not a power purchase agreement. So if you did that, you don't own the system and so you don't get the tax credit. Whoever owns it gets it. And then the other part is that it has to be placed into service the year that you're trying to claim it. What does placed into service mean? It means it was paid for, the construction is complete, and the inspection was requested. So if I'm getting my system installed this year, and I wanna claim the tax credit for this year, meaning next year when I file my taxes, I have to pay for it this year, the construction has to be completed this year, and then the company that installed it has to request that inspection. If I don't do that, I'll have to wait until the next year in order to get my tax credit. So, now that we know how to be eligible, what is the tax credit? Let's start out, we'll do this one in blue. So the tax credit is 35%. This is actually the amount. So the dollar amount is 35% or $5,000, whichever is less. Of course, we want it to be whichever is more, but it doesn't ever work out that way. So the tax rate is 35% or $5,000 of the total system cost based on how many systems you have. Now this is a part that gets a little bit confusing and I've heard people say, well, how many systems is it? Well, <clears throat> the state has a way of figuring this out. So a system is pretty much every five kilowatts, which in today's, in the way that we install solar today and calculate it, that's roughly 12, 12 to 14 panels. So what we're doing here, and once we get into some more examples, I think it'll be a lot clearer. But for every 12 to 14 panels that you install, you're eligible for a tax credit of 35% or $5,000. Now let's just get into a few examples. Okay, so in example one, we'll go over, let's call this example number one. You're gonna install 4.9 kilowatts. So that's probably 14 panels. The total system cost is $24,000. It's a lot of money, but it's worth it. So the system size and the price. These are the two most important things to know. If we have this information, we can figure out the rest. So what I need to do now is I need to take 35% of $24,000. So if I multiply this 
by 35% or 0.35, then I get $8,400. Now if you remember, I shouldn't have erased this, the tax credit is 35% or $5,000, whichever is less. So in this system, 35% of $24,000 is $8,400, which exceeds my $5,000. So in this example, my state tax credit is $5,000. So that's why you're going to see state tax credits that just have this nice round number of $5,000. Now we'll go into a couple more examples. Let me erase this. Let's say, we'll leave the price up there and the system size. And this is going to be example two. Let's say we're doing an 8.5 kilowatt. That's probably 25 or 26 panels and it's 55, no, 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 forget my math, 42,500. Now, if you remember, we said a system is five kilowatts. So in this example, I know it's strange, but this example is technically counted as, as two systems for the purpose of calculating the state tax credit. So system one is five kilowatts. System two is 3.5 kilowatts. So we treat these as two separate systems. We calculate the tax credit for system one, then we calculate the tax credit for system two, and then we just add it together. In order to calculate this, I forgot to mention, we have to figure out, well, how much does system one cost and how much does system two cost? So in order to, to figure that out, we, do, we take the price divided by the total system size. I know it gets confusing because we have system size up here and then system one, system two. So what you want to do is take the, the full system, the entire thing. So 42,000 divided by 8.5 equals, I have it written down somewhere, $5,000. Now we know that each system, or for one kilowatt, we're at $5,000. So what I'm going to do to figure out what does a system cost for a system one, I'm going to take five times $5,000. And we'll do, we'll do a third example after this. And I think by the third example, you'll really start to understand this. So five times $5,000 equals $25,000. And then 3.5 times 5K equals 17,000. 500. I should have had a calculator up here. So what I did, let me recap before we get into all the calculations. So what I did first is I took my, in, my full system size of 8.5 kilowatts. Then I take my price. And now I need to find out this number is how, many, is how much I'm paying per kilowatt. So in our previous example, we were $24,000 and it was a five kilowatt or 4.9 kilowatts, so it's kind of easy math, but because we have two systems here, it makes it a little bit more difficult. So $5,000 is the amount that we're paying for one kilowatt. For five kilowatts right here, we're paying $25,000. For three and a half kilowatts, we're paying 17,500. So let's switch to blue. Let's calculate the tax credit for system one. The way we do that, if you remember, we take the 25,000 times 0.35, that's the 35%, and that is 8,750. And then we take system two and 17,500 times 35%, and that comes out to 6,125. So this is the state tax credit for system one. This is the state tax credit for system two. They both exceed $5,000. So I'm just gonna cap it right there at 5K, 5K. I'm gonna say cap to 5,000. And then we just add them up. 
So the total state tax credit here is $10,000. So I hope that makes sense. So this tax or this system is eligible for a full $10,000 as our state tax credit. Now let's get into example three, and I think it's important to understand example one, which is a simple system, it's, it's five kilowatts or less. Example two, where it's, it's more than one system, according to taxes. And then system three, let's get into that. Now, we can go on and on. Oh, I shouldn't have erased the system, that's okay. So we'll leave this up there. This is gonna be example number three. Look at that. System size, price. So let's say this is 11 kilowatts, which I have some notes on here. That's about 28 to 30 panels. And the price is $55,000. Now keep in mind, I'm just making up these numbers as far as the, the kilowatt goes and the 55,000. It may be more than that and it may be less than that. The purpose of this is just how to calculate that state tax credit. So we have 11 kilowatts. First thing we need to do, how many systems is this? Well, it's three systems, right? So system one is five kilowatts. System two is five. And system three is one. Five plus five plus one equals 11. Now let's do the same math and let's figure out, first of all, how much am I paying per kilowatt. I made these numbers really easy so I could figure it out without having to do a calculator. So 55,000 divided by 11 kilowatts, 55,000 divided by 11 equals $5,000. So we use that same 5,000 mark. So now that I know that I'm paying a $5,000 for every one kilowatt, so if I take $5,000 times 11 kilowatts, that gives me my $55,000 total price number. So now I'm gonna do the same thing here, right? So I know system one and system two are gonna be the same. So system one and system two, I know that that's five times $5,000, so it's $25,000. And then if I go back and do my tax credit on that, so $25,000 times my 0.35, my 35%, then I get 8,700 and 50. So I know I have 8,750 for the first system. That's my tax credit. If it was at 35%, 8,750 for system two. And then for system three, let's do the math here. So this would be one times 5,000. It's 5,000. And then let's take 35% of that, which equals 1,750. So I can't do 8,750 because that's higher than 5,000. So I know that I'm gonna cap it at 5K. System two, I'm gonna cap that at 5K. System three, it's less than $5,000. So I can take the full 35% and we'll leave it right where it is at 1750. So my total state tax credit for an 11 kilowatt system is $11,750. That's my total state tax credit. Now the same thing works. You can go up and down, right? So on a 15 kilowatt system, your, the max state tax credit is $15,000. For a 20 kilowatt system, your max state tax credit amount is $20,000. You get, may get less than that, but you're never going to exceed that. So that's why this is between 10 and, and 15 kilowatts. I didn't get my full 15,000 but I got the 11,750. That's a lot of money, right? This is, that's why this is such a big deal. The price of power here in Hawaii is, is the most expensive power in the entire country. And by having the federal tax credit, but then the state tax credit on top of that makes it one of the most attractive places to go solar and where it makes the most sense because we're already paying so much money in our, in our electricity rates. And then we get these nice tax credits that help to offset the cost. But what if you don't pay any state tax credits? Or what if you don't pay any taxes, right? This is a state tax credit. It's not a rebate. And a credit means it offsets the amount of money that you pay in taxes. So if you don't pay any taxes, then do you get to take advantage of this? Well, normally it would be no, but there actually is a way that you can claim this as sort of a rebate. They don't call it a rebate. But what you can do is you can reduce this number by 
and then you can claim whatever is on there as, as money back. Now, it depends on your situation, and there's different factors that, that come into play here, and so you definitely would need to consult with a tax professional to find out if this would apply to you. But just because you don't pay state taxes here doesn't mean that you can't necessarily get something from it, but, but definitely consult with someone. So you would reduce this down by 30%, so that would come in at a little over $7,000, and then you'd be able to claim that um, as kind of a rebate. All right, so now we understand how to figure out the tax credit. Let's, let's get into some common questions that come up. So let me just erase the board. I'll leave this 35% up. Maybe we'll use it again. Maybe we won't. All right, so some common questions. There's lots, but I'll answer three. Number one, does this cover batteries? Number two, I can't claim this all this year. Can I extend it out, or is it just a one all or nothing? Um, can you extend? And number three, when does it expire, right? When does a state tax credit expire? <clears throat> so number one, does the Hawaii state tax credit include batteries? Yes and no. So it is part of the renewable energy technology, so technically it would be covered. But if you remember, because we have this 35% or $5,000 cap, it, it, it doesn't actually really give you any additional savings, right? So if, if my system is, is $24,000, like we did on the first example, we were at 24 k and I think that we were at you know, just under $9,000, so the system was capped at five. Well, let's say we add in $10,000 to the, to the battery, right? That extra $10,000, you're not seeing any additional tax credit there as, as far as the state is concerned. On the federal level, you are. The federal is just a blanket tax credit. It's 26% off of the entire bill, right? But on the state side, does it include batteries? Technically, yes, but you typically won't see much advantage from it. Can you extend it? So this is a very common question. They say, hey, my tax credit is worth $10,000. I can't claim that all this year. Can I continue to claim it yes year? Well, yes, you can. Uh, you can continue to claim this tax credit until it's exhausted. That's how it's written in the tax code, which there's going to be a link to that in the bottom of the show notes. And you can refer to the actual tax code so that you can read it for yourself or, or review it with your CPA. Third question, when does the state tax credit expire? It has no expiration date. and so. Uh, unlike the federal tax credit, which is, which is set to be reduced to 22% um, at the end of this year, and then it's set to go away as far as residential is concerned after that, this tax credit does not expire. But it should be noted that they've tried to decrease the tax credit. It hasn't passed yet. Um, and I hope that they don't decrease it because the state has a renewable energy goal or, or a goal to be 100% renewable by 2045. And this state tax credit really helps us to get to that point. Now, a word of caution about the state tax credit. There are a lot of companies and sales reps who, who maybe don't understand everything. And, and this is complicated. As you can see, this, this took us a long time to go through everything and really go through all the examples. So it's important that you understand how this, this tax credit is calculated and how it works for yourself. Because there are some sales companies or solar companies or sales reps who will either just gloss over this information too quickly, they, they, might make, uh, they might not understand it, or they might make some guarantees. And as you can see there, th these tax credits, they're not guaranteed. That's why it's really important that you understand how this works and then you consult with a professional, a tax professional, to find out what is your individualized tax plan or circumstance, right? We just wanna make sure that you understand what you're getting yourself into. But know that these tax credits are real. The federal tax credit is a real thing. The, the state tax credit is a real thing. And it can really help you to, to offset the cost of getting solar. So with all that being said, thanks for joining us to talk more about the Hawaii state tax credit. We're really excited to give you more information like this. If you have questions, which I'm sure you will, because there's, there's a lot more that we could have gotten into, leave those questions down below in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll see you next week.